Let's look at this question. The parent of a child with type 1 diabetes calls the clinic nurse to discuss the child's self-monitoring blood glucose results. The child is regulated with a combination of NPH and regular insulin before breakfast and supper. The past two mornings, the blood sugar readings were 220 and 210 milligrams per deciliter, or 12.1 and 11.6 minimoles per liter. What should the nurse advise the parent to do? <laughs> Got a lot of information there. What's the important information in here? Well, you have a child with type 1 diabetes, and you can see blood sugar readings are 220 and 210. Now, this is so typical about how NCLEX handles lab values. They're not going to ask you what is a normal reading. They're going to put the readings in there, and you're going to have to make a decision about what to do about it. In this case, we know that these are elevated blood sugar readings. So the question is really asking, what does the nurse do about the elevated blood sugar? So we don't need to read our answer choices in this case to figure out the topic. We know what it is. So let's read through our answer choices now and determine, are they assessment or implementations? Number one, continue with the child's medication regime. Is that an assessment or implementation? And that is an implementation. Number two, check the child's blood glucose sugar during the night. Is that an assessment or is that an implementation? And that is an assessment. Number three, give the child NPH insulin later in the evening. Is that an assessment or implementation? And that is an implementation. Or number four, serve the child a bedtime snack earlier in the evening. And that too is an implementation. So we have one assessment, that is number two, and we have three implementations, numbers one, three, and four. So because that's the pattern I see and critical thinking is about seeing patterns, I'm going to go back into the stem and read. And what I do know is the blood sugar readings were 220 and 210. That's objective information, and I know that the client is hyperglycemic. So is this a situation that requires some sort of validation? Now, you know when you're dealing with early morning hyperglycemia, you're dealing with a couple of different situations. It could be dawn phenomena where early in the morning the liver releases glucose into the blood, and if there isn't enough sugar to cover it, the client will be hyperglycemic. You know, the, there is Smoji's effect, and Smoji's effect is a rebound hyperglycemia where the person's blood sugar decreases, so the body responds by increasing the blood sugar, and then you have hyperglycemia. Or it could be insulin waning, where the amount of insulin somebody receives in the evening is not enough to cover them into morning. So... What do I need to do here, As the nurse? Well, as the nurse, you need to check the child's blood sugar during the night because you need to establish what's going on. Is it a sudden increase in the blood sugar? That would be dawn phenomena. Is it a rebound where there's hypoglycemia, then hyperglycemia? That would be Smoji's effect. Or the blood sugar just gradually rises throughout the night and that would be insulin waning. So therefore, number two, my assessment answer does indeed make sense. And so I like that answer. It is the answer choice that I am going to select.